come on you're not having my chair yet you're not taking over welcome back uh, my gardening friends I run a little competition I had this sent to me as a gift and I thought it may be a good idea a little bit of fun for you guys out there who comment regularly to uh, give my little mascot a name and you were brilliant absolutely loads of uh, names and I did uh, really appreciate them all uh, one stuck out and several other commenters mentioned uh, this name again so uh, in encouragement that that's what it should be and so my little friend is now called Robo Crop so Robo Crop will be my little mascot looking after the uh, allotment um, carrots and the rest of the uh, the vegetables and fruit so thank you to all things green it's a new channel so please uh, pop across to see all things green I'm sure uh, they'll be uploading more videos but just pop across have a look and see what you think uh, no doubt they will comment uh, on this video if not pop back uh, to uh, my other videos where you'll see the comments so you have now got a place on plot one and three and uh, we'll see how long it is before we need to put you in the washer 12th of August starts uh, the National Allotment Week and this is to uh, encourage people to take on allotments to grow their own food even if it's uh, on a balcony some square foot gardening in your backyard so this week there'll be loads of videos I hope um, I know it's National uh, Allotment Week because I was contacted by the uh, Malvern uh, Autumn Show because the BBC wanted to uh, interview me uh, on the plot so on Monday morning Coventry and Warwickshire breakfast show we'll be visiting the plot and we'll be doing some live interviews uh, from about between 7 and 9 uh, on that morning and then out of the blue I had another phone call late uh, this last Friday afternoon from uh, BBC Midlands Today news and weather and they wanted their uh, weather girl, a Shafali, to uh, do the weather on my allotment and talk about National Gardening, Gardening uh, National Allotment Week uh, and uh, the uh, giant vegetables. So, if any uh, of my local viewers uh, want to tune into that, I just hope I don't uh, embarrass myself. Anyway, let's. Uh, have a little look round and see what's going uh, on uh, around the uh, the plot. As you can see, the wind and rain and everything else has been absolutely horrendous, and my uh, windmill's gone round that quick. Uh, I've lost a couple of sails again, but the weather has been absolutely awful. I hope uh, everyone else uh, hasn't had uh, too much uh, damage. But this is the uh, UK weather. Very, very unpredictable. I've moved some of the potatoes uh, to here. Uh, the uh, tops have died off. I'm just going to keep them uh, a little bit drier so they don't get too wet and the potatoes go rotten. I'm having a bit of a clear out uh, with the old plastic pots that uh, I can't reuse and uh, they're not reusable to anyone else so they'll get recycled uh, at the waste disposal site. We've had so much rain, uh, it was recommended to me that these root vegetables should be kept inside so you can monitor the amount of water but uh, I had a visit today and I had a little look at this carrot and it uh, looks like that might be going rotten it's just been far far too wet uh, yes we've shaded them but the wet uh, they can't stand and I'm just hoping the Swede uh, holds out just a little bit longer 
like to do the same with the main crop a bit of dieback and maybe a little bit of blight so I didn't I haven't any blight on my uh, Marfonia so until I get blight on there I don't know whether these are resistant these are the Sarpo true potato seeds the carrots outside I've had a little delve around the soil and these are so much better than the ones inside getting plenty of water uh, I will have to cover this soon to stop the water getting to them else I'll start splitting and uh, part of the revamp uh, of my allotment will be uh, all these uh, raised beds on this side which there will be eight and uh, what I'm thinking they'll come to about there I'm thinking about taking my compost bin out of there and moving it to a more accessible point on the uh, second half of the allotment and then using uh, the pallet collars to do a nice long row for the parsnips and the carrots and uh, do more outside and maybe have a, a row of tomatoes going all the way down uh, this one instead of trying to uh, squeeze them uh, into uh, the back of these tubs because I think next year I'm going to have to row my roots inside and as you can see some of these uh, giant cucumbers now I started to uh, get some uh, meat on them they've got 47 days left to uh, mature not been so organized this year but uh, I think that's the same with all of this absolutely brilliant and that's uh, a bigger one than uh, That we've got before but they're damn good eating carrots what do you think mm. should we have an excuse me moment oh, I've just took uh, four out we pinched one the other day if you saw it but they, those four have just come out of there and they're they're pretty good they are I'm sure if I wanted to show some of these these would uh, definitely uh, be somewhere near the tap roots are all very similar lengths and the carrots so uh, in my playlist uh, we've got the uh, raised bed build in the polytunnel that's in my playlist shows you exactly how much compost where I've put it and I actually put the very fresh-ish manure right in the bottom basically it's down here somewhere and these tap roots have come down collected that to give me those carrots and I've taken uh, four bunches of uh, grapes uh, they're still a little bit tart but we do like them plus I've still got a polytunnel full and since I've uh, shut the doors, I've had no more flies in. So that was a lesson learned and that will help me when I raise this polytunnel up a metre. I will add more EnviroMesh to uh, the vertical sides. So thank you very much to all things green. I hope I haven't got that wrong. 
for that and please uh, pop across to their channel and while you're looking at the comments just see if anybody else has got a channel and maybe you'd like to pop and see those as well and uh, luckily enough that repair in the middle of the screen is holding up take care everyone happy gardening and if you're about on Monday in the Midlands don't forget uh, Coventry uh, and Warwickshire BBC Coventry and Warwickshire radio the breakfast show and Midlands today news and weather and Shafali will be on the plot doing the weather ta for now